Six tips and tricks for Conan exiles. Number six, get your encumbrance as high as possible if you farm materials around your keep. Encumbrance is going to put higher weight in your inventory, so that means that you can farm a lot of more materials. So the higher the encumbrance, the more materials you can bring to your keep, so that means that you are going to save a lot of time. On PvP servers that's very important, because you need to have really quick a keep otherwise you are going to lose the game so what you need to do is you just need to go to inventory level up you just reset your attributes put everything in encumbrance and you can get like a shitload of materials in your bags Number five, food and water. Food and water is going to save your life a lot in Conan Exile. So be sure that you always got food and water with you. Because if you don't have water, you are going to die from thirst. If you don't have food, you are going to die from starving. So how can you overcome the problem of water if you are not near a river? You need to get a water skin. How do you get a water skin? If you start this game at the left, you are going to see a water skin. That's the first one. But if you didn't get that one, you can just put water skin on in recipes. So you just need to go to recipes. You just need to take this campfire. You need to unlock it. And then you can craft the water skin in your inventory. Okay. How do you fill that water skin? You just go to water. You just go to inventory. You just click the water skin. You just use it. And you will see the durability goes to 10. That's not the only place that you can fill it. You can put a well in your keep too. So let's go to the keep really quick. Because there is a well. So you just need to do just the same. You just click on the well. You just click E. You interact with the well. And normally you are going to fill up your water now. But my water icon at the top was totally full. Just the same with your water skin so let's use a couple of times the water skin that it's a little bit more empty so let's use it let's go to the well let's go to inventory let's go use water skin again and here you can see it it's back on 10 that's how you need to fill it if you want to get food the best food that drops in this game comes from very big creatures so like crocodiles elephant rhinos be sure that you always cook the food, otherwise you are going to get uh, food poisoning and that's not so cool because that's a dot that keeps sticking and at some point you are going to die. Number 4. The pickaxe is your best friend. If you want to go after bark, you need to use a pickaxe. With the pickaxe you are going to get less wood, but you are going to get bark than with the axe. The same for meat, with the pickaxe you are always going to get the most. Then you got the axe and then you got a normal weapon. So never farm materials with your weapon. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. In front of me there are two crocodiles. And I will show you guys what I mean with the test. So the respawn timer is very quick. So normally they respawn in 5 seconds. Okay, if we farm now this crocodile with my sword, you will see I only get one one piece for each. So one tick height, one bone, and I'm going to drink for a moment. Okay, so if I go now with the X, you will see the difference already. It's going to be six tick height and three flesh. Check three flesh, six tick height. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to respawn the crocodiles and I kill them again. And then I go with the iron pickaxe. So it's just the same like the iron hatchet. So let's kill the crocodiles again. Okay, let's go now with iron pickaxe and check now what I get from it. So it's just the same like the axe. But sometimes 
I get 7 tick height or even 10 tick height. So if you want to farm meat, if you want to farm tick height or height, just go with the pickaxe. If we go now to the trees and we go with X, you will see if you hit the tree with X, you are going to get a lot of wood, but not a lot of bark. If you go now to the pickaxe, check, you get right away bark and you get a little bit like the half uh, wood. So the pickaxe is better to farm bark and the axe is better to farm wood. Number three, how to create a spawn point. A spawn point is very important in Conan Exiles because if you die and you don't have a spawn point, you are going to go back to the start and you need to run the all the way back to the position that you were. So you got two bets in Conan Exiles and those two bets are going to give you a spawn point. The first bet is a little bit different than the second bet. So what you need to do is, the first bet is this bet. It's a fiber bet roll and I'm going to craft it now. Okay, it's over here. It's already on the hotbar, so I can put it on the ground. What is the difference between this bed and the other bed that you can put in your keep or some, somewhere else? This bed is going to despawn if you die once. So it's very important if you die once and you respawn that you make another fiber bed roll. Otherwise, if you die again, you are going to go back to the start. So it's going to go away. What you need to do is you just need to put it on the ground. And then you need to interact with it. So if you don't interact with the bed roll, you are going to respawn not at the bed roll, but you are going to respawn at the start again. So how do you do it? Just push E, interact, and you will see spawn point updated. Okay, so now it's over here. So let's go to the crocodiles and let's die. So here is my best friend, the crocodile. Okay, I'm now dead. And I respawned on the bed roll. And you guys can see the bed roll is now gone. So, if you go now further in exploring, you need to make another bed roll. You need to interact once again with the bed roll. And then you got a new spawn point. Then the next bed that you can get is a little bit uh, further into the game if you got higher level. But the good thing about this bed is, is it doesn't respawn. So, the thing is it always stays at one place. So, you just need to come over this bed. You just need to interact with it again. You put your spawn point here. And if you go now back to the crocodiles and I die again. So, let's run all the way back. And I respawned now on this bed and it's still there. Number two, regeneration food, regeneration potions. So it's very important if you are going to fight very strong enemies that you got that with you. Because it's going to save your life a lot of times. I always got it with me. I got like 30, 40 pieces of food and like 40 potions always in my inventory. And... It's very important that you got them. Therefore, I put them on the second place. So how you need to make regeneration food. I always use my uh, shrine of Mitra for it. So here you can craft it. If you don't know how you need to, to make it, just watch my video about it. It's called Ambrosia. And if you want to go to the regeneration potions, it's called Aloe. Uh, extract. So that are the potions. If you don't know how you need to craft it, 
just watch my video how you need to craft regeneration potions so i will show you guys what they do so it's very easy so if you are fighting and you use them you will see that you start regeneration hp so there are crocodiles so let's get hit by the crocodiles so i can show you guys it Yeah, the crocodile didn't hit me, so I need to take this one. Okay, so if I use now my food, check, I start regenerating. And you can see my HP, how fast it goes. Okay, let's get hit one more time. There we go. Let's use now the potion. Here we go. Just the same, regenerating. Number one, and for me the most important in the tips and tricks, are trolls. What are trolls? They are like slaves. You just need to get them to your wheel of pain. And they work for you. So you got manufacturing trolls. You got like uh, warrior trolls that going to protect you. And you got dancers. So for me, the dancers and the manufacturing trolls are the most important because they are going to speed up your crafting. Therefore, they are very important. If you don't know how you need to get the troll, just check my video how to get the troll. So the dancers, they are going to regenerate HP and they are going to remove the corruption on you. How can you see that you got corruption? You are going to get like a purple line on your HP. And then you got corruption. So those dudes in front of me, they are dancing. So they are dancers. They are going to remove it. And you guys already see my health regen going up too. So that's what they do. But I think that the manufacturing trolls are a little bit better. Why? Because they are going to speed up your crafting, your manufacturing. So they are very good. For example, in the tannery, it's, it's unbelievable good. Because the tannery goes really slow. So the faster that you can make the heights or the ladders, I need to say, the better because you need a lot of tar to make steel. So therefore they are very good. You got a tannery, you got a cook. Here I got my cook. You got a blacksmith. You got for every profession, you got a troll. So my number one is getting trolls because I think that's the most important in the game to have. If you got a troll, in a pvp server and you can build your weapons a lot faster you can craft your uh your gear a lot faster that's very important so that was it for my six tips and tricks for the game conan exiles if you guys like the video give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please have fun with the video see you guys later thanks for watching bye bye